Hi, my name is Tanya from EcoVolt. Today, I would like to introduce you to the eHub, which is gonna make your life so much easier. The eHub will enable you to control our GTR radiators to the Trua app. We're gonna show you how to do this now. This is the eHub here. As you can see, it's nice and small, not too big. And now I'm gonna show you how to set it up on the app. So this is the Tua app. Once you have set up your account and registered, this is the screen that you will see. Now, once you've done this, you click Add Device, go on to the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see Small Home Appliance, click that, click Wi-Fi Heater, and now you will need to add in your Wi-Fi name and password, bear in mind, it needs to be a 2.4 GHz signal, and then once you've connected in, you click Next, confirm the indicator is blinking, blinking quickly, and now I will show you how to do all this on the radiator. So now we will take the e-hub and we will put this into pairing mode. You just long hold the button on top until the green light is flashing like so. And now we will go to the radiator. So now on your radiator, what you will do is unlock by pressing the plus and the minus buttons together. Until you hear a beep and the lock symbol is gone, you will now press the power button and then hold in the M button until you hear another beep. And now as you can see, the numbers up here have changed. So now to get it into pair mode, you just press the M button once more until these numbers are flashing. So now that you have all three devices set up, what you'll do now is hit add device. On the left side of the screen, you'll hit small home appliance, Wi-Fi heater, as mentioned before, make sure your name and internet password is correct and it's 2.4 gigahertz. Click next, confirm the indicator is blinking, blinking quickly, and then soon your device should pick up. Now that your eHub is connected, you can click into gateway, click into thermostat, and now you can control your radiator from your phone. You can go above your desired room temperature, which is stated there, and your radiator will heat up to that desired room temperature degree. And then for it to cool down, you simply go below your room temperature and your radiator will now start to cool down. Important thing to note is that this number here will not change as this is your room temperature number. You will have to go to your phone and increase that by set amount of degrees and this number here will slowly heat up until it hits that desired temperature. Now that you are connected to your radiator, you can remove the e-hub away from the, from the radiator and put it in a secure location with good Wi-Fi signal.